Welcome to the Science Kid. I'm your host, Quinn Friedman, and today's episode is an explanation about vision. Our eyeballs are pretty dandy little organs. Without them, we have to rely on our other senses. Our smell and hearing. But frankly, I prefer our sight. I mean, how incredible is it that we can see ourselves, each other, and the world around us? To start off today's video, we're going to do a simple mind trick to warm up our eyes. First, start staring at the black dot inside the red circle. Stare at that for about 15 seconds, and then immediately move your eyes to the black dot. I will wait. Now, have you counted to 15 yet? Immediately move your eyes to the black dot that is by itself. You will see that the red circle has moved right outside the lonely black dot and has turned cyan, or light blue. Why does this happen? The only reason our eyes are seeing things is because of lights. We see colors in light because of small cells in our eyes called cones. Our cones are located behind the eye in a layer called the retina. We have three cones in our eyes. One cone allows us to see the colors red, white, and pink. Another cone allows us to see green, cyan, and yellow. And our third cone allows us to see blue and purple. Now sometimes one of our cones will grow tired and stop working for a short period of time if we are staring at a certain color for a long period of time. When you were staring at that red circle, your red cone was starting to tire out, but the image was stuck in your brain. After you stared at the lonely black dot, the image of the circle looked like it was outside the black dot, but it changed into a light blue. That's because our red cone cell stopped working, and our other cone cell that sees the color cyan came into action. Now, let's talk about the different kinds of light. About 0.0035% of light is visible. That means every 7 out of 20,000 rays of light on our planet is possible to see with the human eye. All the light waves on our planet make up the electromagnetic spectrum. The different types of light waves are radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, visible light, ultraviolet waves, x-rays, and gamma rays. Let's first talk about radio waves. Radio waves are what plays in our radios, garage door openers, baby monitors, and alarm systems. For example, when a man speaks into a microphone on a radio station, his sound wave will be converted into a radio wave. The radio wave will travel to every car and other radio player and be converted back into a sound wave. This simple procedure is what is used in all radio stations. The second wave with a higher hertz is called microwaves. Microwaves are used in cell phones, ovens, satellites, and obviously the microwaves we cook things with. Microwaves produce radioactive energy that can heat things and travel quicker than radio waves. The third type of waves are infrared waves or infrared radiation. Have you ever seen those pictures of animals and humans where the animal or human is colored differently all around its body? Like this image? Well, infrared radiation is used in these images. We use these waves to detect temperature levels. Ear thermometers, certain types of cameras, and weather satellites use infrared radiation. The next type of waves with higher hertz are visible light. These waves are the ones that we can see and are visible to the human eye. All the colors that we see fall down in visible light. The color with the lowest hertz is red. And the highest hertz is purple. The next type of waves are ultraviolet waves. Ultraviolet waves are very strong waves used in medical equipment. These waves can cause cancer, but can kill bacteria. So it's kind of like a win-lose situation here. The next type of waves are x-rays. X-rays are used to study bone fractures and broken bones. X-rays work because they pass through skin and fat, but can't pass bones. After the x-rays stop at the bones, we can transmit this energy into a photograph of only our bones and not our other organs. Although, x-rays can also cause cancer. The last and strongest waves are gamma rays. Gamma rays can help scientists study exploding stars, cause nuclear explosions, 
It can help kill cancer and tumors. All the light on our planet falls into one of these seven categories. Light causes our shadows, heat, reflection, sight, and our surviving on this planet. I hope you enjoyed learning about light. If you did, make sure to subscribe down below and like this video to see more incredible content. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.